In this video, we're going to do some loop recording. We already showed how to do normal recording as well as overdub. We also did punch in recording. Well, now it's time to do loop recording where we record different takes to different layers. This gives us a lot of advantage if we want to re record the same part several times to try to either get the best take or maybe as you're working out to try to figure out a part. Now, the way we do loop recording involves using the loop brace or the loop marker at the top. Now, to set up the loop, we need to turn it on down here and you can grab the beginning and the end of the loop to position it. Now, if it's not up here at all, just go to near the top. You turn off the info view there. Go near the top and you can just draw it in. Now, you probably do want to have snap turned on and set the quantize to quarter notes or measures or something where you can snap to the actual bar marker like this. So I'm gonna mark over this section. This is the song we recorded before now I added a little bit of drums to this just to make it more interesting. For me, it's easier to play over something if I've got a drum loop or something that sounds a little bit more musical than just the click track. What I've done is from the included sounds, acoustic drum kits and loops, in here we have one called Eyes to Earth. Now I've taken just a couple loops out of verses. This is the main loop that we're playing. And then also I've got this one with Crash on one, and that's the one that starts off. So that's the one that I have here. Th these are the main loops. And then I put a little bit of a fill in here using the very first fill sample. But I actually only used the last beat of it, so you can hear that here. That gives me a clue that it's about to loop back around. Now, the other thing that I've got going here is we need to enable the loop and we need to have record loops to layers turned on. Now to do that, I've opened the new record panel. So I'm gonna close the record panel and then show you how to open it. Under view, here's the record panel. And the options that we want here is record takes. So we'll make sure that that's turned on. And then over here, record takes to layers. This is very important in this style of recording to set those two options. With that set, otherwise recording works the same way. I will enable the pre-roll here so that I get a couple measures to start. Then I'm gonna record probably three or four different takes and I'm just gonna try a few different ideas that'll give me things to choose from later on. So I'll make sure the metronome's turned on and then I'll hit asterisk. So I'm gonna close the browser so I can expand the view just a little bit better. And what you can see is that the top layer winds up being the last take or take four. So this is really a duplicate of the last layer. To listen to the other layers, we can activate those layers by clicking this arrow here doing a playback. So that's how I can audition my different takes. <laughs> So whichever one I like best, I would leave on the top. So if take two is my best take, or take three, then I could push it up to the top and then listen to it with the rest of my music. I'll turn solo off.
So that's how layers work and takes, and this is a setup for comping or creating a composite. So once you've picked the active layer and you want to hide the additional layers, all you need to do is right click on the track and click right here where you see it's checked off for expand layers. If I click that, and then all the other layers are hidden. I can also go to the inspector to choose the layer because the layer property is right here. I have take four, but I could easily change it to layer one, take one, or take three. So we'll cover more about layers when we get to comping in the audio editing section. But for now, that's how you do loop recording with layers in Studio One. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.